Seymour, where Packer players were among those who came out tonight to help the family of two young homicide victims. You'll remember three-month-old Haley Poppy and four-year-old Madeline Sampson were found dead in a home on Main Street last month. Also in the house, the body of 32-year-old Andrew Poppy, who police say died of self-inflicted wounds. Local 5's Robin Oginye was at Seymour City Hall tonight for the benefit, and she brings us the story. Seymour City Hall was packed with Packers fans. Oh, literally anywhere. <laughs> On any normal day, if the pack is present, fans are cheering, more than happy to be near members of the Green and Gold. But the circumstances of the gathering was, of course, more serious than a football game. When we had this incident occur, uh, we made our minds up right from the get-go that it was not going to define us, and we were going to respond to it appropriately. Three-month-old Haley Poppy and four-year-old Madeline Sampson's burials left the families with a financial burden, which is why one officer thought a Packers autograph signing would be the perfect way to raise money to help cover their expenses. I think it just shows that um, everyone's a human. We're willing to do the right thing and help, help out a family in need. Um, they were faced with a tragic incident that they obviously financially didn't plan for. And so the community coming together and to help them out and hopefully um, members from neighboring communities as well willing to come in and help out a family in a tragic incident. It's for a good cause, first of all, and just then also I collect signed mini helmets. So I figured it was a good opportunity to get a number of them all in one go. Yeah, you go get there. That's a nice bite too. <laughs> Haley and Madeline's deaths are still fresh. Their lives remembered by small trinkets displayed on Main Street. But Wednesday's gathering at City Hall was a reminder that tragedy cannot shake this community, only strengthen its bond. The community is a, a small, tight-knit uh, rural community, and uh, that's what we do in these small communities. Reporting in Seymour, Robin Oginye, Local 5 News. And the Seymour Police Department tells us the autograph signing tonight raised more than $3,000.